Well, during the 20th century, millions of western monarch butterflies clustered along our coast during their winter migration. Yeah, but just last fall, a shocker. Fewer than 2,000 showed up. It's a 99.9% .9 drop since the 80s. Brian Hackney has this original report on the new effort to save them. Migratory monarch butterflies are on the brink of collapse. But a joint program in California now hopes to at least throw them a lifeline. And at the same time, a monarch mystery is unfolding in our own backyards. From as far north as Butte County, tucked within the Oroville Wildlife Area. This is a huge crisis that we're facing. To the Dos Rios Ranch near Modesto, where the Tuolumne and San Joaquin Rivers meet. We need to do everything we can to try to save them. A coalition of scientists and conservation experts has joined forces. The group is attempting to ward off a catastrophe, the collapse of the migrating monarch butterfly by restoring their habitat. The landscape's a canvas. Right, and, and we get to be the artist, and we get to bring in the things that we want to see. Along the rivers and streams found at eight sites in California, teams just finished planting nearly 600 acres of native milkweed and other nectar-rich plants. This is our newest restoration. Claire Pavelka is with River Partners. The nonprofit organization is coordinating the effort. California Fish and Wildlife is funding it. If you break off part of the leaf... Milkweed oozes a sticky, milky white sap. And that plant is critical for the monarch's life cycle. Caterpillars from monarchs will only eat milkweed. The monarch is known as an indicator species. What happens to the monarch could spell trouble for others. Butterflies are like the famous canary in the coal mine. They're indicators of a potentially dangerous situation before it's generally perceived as dangerous. Art Shapiro is a professor of evolution and ecology at UC Davis. He says there are global declines in butterflies. We suspect that big scale things are happening that we don't fully understand. Shapiro has monitored butterfly populations across Central California for more than 45 years. The trend? Long-term decline. Shapiro points to three main reasons. Habitat loss, pesticides, and climate change. The question is whether they will manage to survive given the very rapid change we're seeing now and the extent to which we've modified the landscape. There's a female coming in now. He took KPIX-5 along during a count in Rancho Cordova. Along the track, we spied a checkered skipper and an Akmon blue butterfly, but overall... This is really a terrible day. <laughs> only six species and 16 individual butterflies. Another trend is emerging, this time in urban gardens around the Bay Area. We started hearing little bits of reports of monarchs in the cities. Maybe they don't need to migrate anymore if it's always warm enough to live here year-round. Elizabeth Crone and Cheryl Schultz study butterflies. On this day, they're counting monarchs. A growing number has relocated to Berkeley, Albany, and El Cerrito. It could be that milkweed in people's gardens is sort of the last place where monarch butterflies are hanging on, and if we keep them here in the gardens, they'll be available to recolonize once we restore the landscape. But a concern. Urban monarchs may be more susceptible to a parasite, making them less likely to reproduce or survive. When monarch butterflies don't migrate, they build up higher disease levels. No one knows why monarchs now call the Bay Area home, but once again, warmer temperatures may play a major role. One thing you can do is put more native plants in your own backyard, especially milkweed. Just make sure it's not the tropical kind. Brian Hackney, KPIX5. And why not the tropical kind? Well, Dr. Crone told us because it keeps its leaves and flowers all year long, it could be encouraging those monarchs to stay longer than they should.